back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னும் நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணல மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் தி டுடேஸ் டெய்லி டெஸ்ட் அண்ட் டுடேஸ் டேட் இஸ் டிசம்பர் ஃபோர்டீன் அண்ட் த டைட்டில் ஆஃப் த கொஷின் இஸ் வேலிட் மிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் ஆல்ஃபபெட்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் கொஷின் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஆர் சால்வ்ட் இன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் மெத்தட் ஸோ டுடே ஆல்சோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் திஸ் ஒன் இன் ஃபங்க்ஷன் மெத்தட் Uh, using the python language uh, this is a mnc question which has been asked before so before getting to the solution we uh, get to know about the question so please do like share subscribe for more videos okay uh, let's get into the question okay the program must accept a string s which contains the first five lower case alphabets that is a b c d e as input okay then the program must print yes if the string yes is a valid mix so what they have given in the question is we must get a string which contains five letter that is also in the lower case alphabets in the bracket they have given us a b c d e as the input and the program must print yes okay uh here they have given a condition if a string yes is a valid mix so if the string that is a valid mix then we must print yes otherwise we, we should print no okay. another one they have given us if the string yes contains multiple a b c d e and the alphabets are mixed in the same order of their occurrence then it is a valid mix so no the length of string s is always a multiple of 5 so they have given that uh, the string which contains multiple a b c d e and the alphabets are mixed in the same order of their occurrence then it will be a valid mix so this is the main condition we must note it that uh, which may contain the a b c d multiple times so in the same order of occurrence then it will be a valid mix otherwise we should print no and here in the note they have given that the length of the string is always a multiple of 5 so multiple of 5 in the sense 5 10 15 20 it will be going like that okay they have given the input format first line contain yes the output line contains either yes or no okay okay now let us get into the solution okay initially what i am going to do is create a function okay i am just creating a function named is valid mix of yes yes is the string so i am creating a function name is valid mix to check whether the valid mix is not or that okay he, now i am just doing a simple concept here since they have given that it is a multiple of 5 so if len of yes percentage 5 not equal to 0 okay here what i am going to do is the length of string is always a multiple of 5 they have given so if not it is the multiple so we can easily say that we can easily print the no okay you can understand i think so if len of percentage of 5 is not equal to 0 that is it is not the multiple of 5 then we must print no and i am just using this return statement here okay next to what i am going to do is since they have given me the order so i am just mentioning the order a b c d e they have given like that now initially the order index will be equal to 0 so here what i am doing is just i am mentioning the order here that is the values which is will given the input so you can see that in everywhere we are having only this five inputs so in the question also they have given in the bracket the what are the inputs that should be given in this string so initially the order index will be also in zero now here i am creating a for loop for character in yes okay for character in yes if character is equal to order of order index okay if character is equal to order of order index if this condition satisfied the order index will be incremented by 1 okay so here what we are doing is uh, if the character is equal to the order of the order index so the order index will be incremented by 1 now another one condition 
if the order index okay sorry if the order index is equal to 5 okay the, if the order index is equal to 5 then the order index will be equal to 0 so what is the using of this double equal to and the single equal to so double equal to i am assigning the value of this and here it says the equate statement alone okay next what i am going to do is coming out of this for loop if order index okay if order index is equal to zero we must print yes okay else we must print no okay now here what we have done is if the order index is equal to that is is uh, directly equal to a uh, zero we must print yes otherwise we are printing no now what we are going to do is getting the input from the user that is the string s is equal to input since it is a string we are using just the input dot strip okay the strip function is used to remove the white spaces from the string so that it can be easily accessible so now what i am going to do is just calling the our main function that is is valid mix of yes okay now let us run the code and check for the output yeah here i am getting a private test case has been failed so nine test case has been passed and four we get it fail here so we can check with that so if the input is given like this here we are getting yes but our program is getting n okay let us try to resolve it now getting a test case that is a hidden test case fail so i am going to do it in another method so just follow me uh, since i am also trying with you so i may get a lot of error but i will try to resolve it okay def is valid mix of yes similarly the function okay if len of yes okay len of yes is greater than 10 or len of yes is less okay is less than 10 or len of yes is greater than 100 or len of yes okay len of yes percentage 5 is not equal to 0 okay if these three condition uh, gets uh, any one condition gets satisfied also we must return okay we must return no okay now what i am going to do is first pattern okay just i am creating a variable name first pattern and creating a list which will be the so that the value will be appointed later here so i am just creating a variable here now what i am going to do is create another variable name that is found okay found first okay just i am creating the found first and initializing the value to the false okay initializing its value to false now i am creating a here of for loop for care in yes if care in that is a b c d okay if this condition gets satisfied and if not found first okay if not found first the first pattern the first pattern will be appended to the care okay the first pattern will be appended to the care now what we are going to do here is the if okay coming out of here so <coughs> wait a minute so here uh, creating it okay okay if len of the first pattern okay len of first pattern is greater than 5 or the first pattern is not equal to the first pattern of here we are using the slicing concept the first pattern okay if this condition gets satisfied the first pattern will be equal to the cap okay now what we are going to do here is uh, wait let me once again check it then whether i am getting it correct or not okay now another if another condition if len of the 
the first pattern okay len of first pattern is equal to 5 and the found first will be equal to true okay the found first will be equal to true now what we are going to do is coming out of this for loop the pattern index will be equal to 0 and creating a for loop here for carrying yes okay for carrying yes uh, okay for carrying yes if character not equal to a b c d e of pattern index we must continue it okay continue is a function we must continue it and the pattern index will be appended by one okay the pattern index will be appended by one and if the pattern index is equal to five the pattern index will be equal to zero okay now coming out of this for loop and returning yes if if the pattern index okay okay if the pattern index equal to zero else we must print no okay now getting the input okay input dot <coughs> strip okay the strip function is used to white spaces as i already told and finally we must printing the function is valid mix of yes okay now let us run the code and check for the output still i am getting the test cases error here okay let me check it second try also i have get the same error so now i am going to do it in another method so i have created here function and to this i am just removing these two one and creating another function name is is valid pattern okay is valid pattern of the substring okay just i am creating a substring here okay let me remove this okay let me remove this okay now I, what i'm going to do is and the pattern is equal to a b c d e okay initially i am keeping the value of j is equal to zero now the for care in the substring okay the for if j less than five and care is equal to the pattern of j okay if this condition gets satisfied the j will be incremented by one okay the j will be incremented by one and coming out of the for loop i'm just returning the j is equal to five okay now next what i'm going to do is just i'm um, creating here another for loop here for start in range of len of string minus 4 okay the subsequence the subsequence is equal to s of start is true okay this is like indexing will start from the start to the end okay now what i am going to do is the remaining is equal to the subsequence okay subsequence of 5 is 2 and the valid remaining will be the valid remaining is equal to the true okay now here what we are going to do is while len of the remaining okay remaining is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to yes and if not is valid pattern okay valid pattern of remaining 
and here also I am using the string slicing method here okay if this condition gets satisfied the valid remaining is equal to false and here we are using the break statement here okay now what I am going to do is the remaining okay the remaining is equal to the okay remaining of 5 is 2 okay now what I am going to do is if I am coming out of this while loop if is valid pattern of yes of start is to start plus 5 and valid valid remaining we must return yes ok now coming out of this for loop and just returning no ok ok similarly getting everything as same here ok now let me run the code and check for the output yeah I am still getting in here here the type error in line 18 ok in line 18 while len of the remaining greater than or equal to sorry I have used here yes it is 5 ok now let us run the code and check for the output still I am getting an error here ok let me check it in the error I am still stuck in this program ok now I am going to do it in another method ok just follow me this is my fourth attempt I hope I will get succeeded in this ok now I am just creating another function name called diff check pattern of the yes ok now the pattern is equal to I am just creating a list here and inside the list I am just create keeping this values here and initially the pattern index will be equal to 0 now here for character in yes if the pattern index ok if the pattern index is less than 5 and the care is equal to the <coughs> pattern of the pattern index ok then the pattern index will be incremented by 1 ok similarly here we are returning the pattern index is equal to 5 coming out of this function for i in range of len of s minus 4 ok the found first ok the found first is equal to the check pattern of yes and here we are using the slicing i is to ok now if found first ok found first we must return yes coming out of the for loop and we must returning no similarly getting this input and printing the function now let us run the code and check uh, pattern index reference before ok here we get a spelling mistake here pattern index ok now let me run the code and check for the output still getting I am the error so 